We had a fire 2016. Yeah. And so we've now had three years go down the road. And so we've finally got these plans and so forth. Folks are at the Westland High School having a look at the future rebuild uh, process and the progress and we're going to have a look at the courts for the covered in facility that's been uh, tendered and tenders accepted. Nearly three million dollars raised by the community, what a fantastic outcome. So I'm with uh, Ian Murray, the principal, uh, Durham Havel and Mark Patterson who is a New Zealand First MP and he's visiting Westland at the moment having a look at some of the investment that's been made in uh, infrastructure and tourism infrastructure. Second youngest. Last year yeah. before the youngest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll have to find out about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, maybe. So welcome, welcome to Western High. You've met Ian and, and Durham and Bruce and you spent most of the day with. But yeah, give you an overview of some of the three pro the three major projects we've got on our on the books at the moment. And spoken about the yep. one. So you're a teacher here as well. Are you? No, I'm board chair here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So probably board chair in the country. You'd have to guess that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but I am a teacher out at Taniere, so I've just come from a staff meeting now and straight into this. So yeah. 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 So, so and you've just taken over because they've you've just come out of. Yep, so what we did is, no, I was the board chair throughout that process right. too, so we requested that for intervention from the Ministry and then worked with them. Yep, mm. to get to where we are now. Pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is... Yeah, the, this peak through here was two stories. Yeah. yeah. So that was one feature we really wanted to see, but no, that was, that was cut right back straight away. Unfortunately. But in order to keep the... Pro, the Works program on track. We've we've confirmed the plans, and we expect detailed design to be finished in, in May. And then we're expecting them to go through the resource and building consent process as much as it's in turning in August. Mm. We've been told and reassured that will be the cut. That was only a week. That was only a week ago. We were told that. Hot roll now. I'm talking about three hundred, and these buildings are what. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Substantial dollars. Yeah. So, so, so what's your projections in terms of role? Are we predicting forward? an increase? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And has that been accepted by the, the Ministry? Are they very aware of that increase? Yeah. What, the, what there is is they're actually taking, uh, let's say we're seven over code at the moment, which is fine in practice, but when you haven't got the hall and all those teaching spaces, you're already down. So they're still calculating the hall and that's all front. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, that's that's that. So, yeah, that's it. We cover these four, which are the ones that are in the system, and with a 1.6 million dollar um, uh, shade system, and that will completely close them and make them more interesting. Because the issue we have is um, Saturday sport and stuff. We get a huge crowd, 500 people here on a Saturday, but they travel from Swaz. Southwestern area, school and stuff, and they come up and they get here and get told, oh, your connection's cancelled, so you can't play, so back they go. So that is an issue around, just around the weather uh, for, for the district. So that's that's our solution to that, it's the covered court. We're also proposing a million dollar upgrade to the gymnasium, which includes a complete refit of the changing rooms and ancillary spaces, weight rooms, and upgrading the gymnasium.
thinking for the Ken side heating and acoustic so it's fit for purpose for today. Um, this room here So we've got $1.5 million from, uh, West Coast, uh, so from Development West Coast, which is allowed through our major district initiative fund, so the council allocate that. Uh, so that has been allocated and, and confirmed by the council and Development West Coast. The council's put in 100000 Western Highs put in 150000 and just this, just today in the paper, um, our community in the last three months have raised 150 k So we're at about $2.6 million for a $3 million dollar upgrade so we're 600 thou shy of, of achieving the full project so we're putting you know the pressure's on but we're at the business end now where we're actually over the next few days we have contracts and things so hopefully we can achieve it and have construction on both projects completed in September. So uh, how's the how's the gap going to be fulfilled? Well we're first of all going back through the contracts to see if there's any back any nice to have. We tried, we've already done that process once and really refined it to what we accept as, a, as the baseline without any compromise, so around functionality. The, the design features that make it look nice where easy they can go, but if it's not going to be functional, we don't really want to be investing time and money into it. We're going to, we're sitting down with the Minister of Murray to talk to them about possible levels of support, and we're also talking to um, private business and um, and individuals as well, which they have come up with a considerable amount of money so far. Um, so yeah, we're working with them to build those community relationships and contacts. And yeah, some, I mean, some businesses have pledged for five years, X amount in five years. So that's, you know, that, that ensures that not only will it be built, but hopefully we'll have a sustainable operations grant going forward as well. Yeah. Yeah. Just come from one of those businesses that, uh, oh, okay. that it's... Uh, Front, so oh yeah, 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 that's cool. yeah. So we get this this concept high level as supporting the community to support the community, supporting the community school, supporting the local businesses, the local businesses supporting this uh, Western Sports Hub initiative. You know, we all benefit. Yeah. The the potential uh, mark for uh, sports events under a covered facility on the coast. Is huge because we we have the odd occasion when it rains, and uh, and it's very hard to plan a tennis tournament or a or in fact, Latham most tournaments yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't get that down south, but we have it here and and we're really excited about what it's going to do over the next several years. Yeah, I have heard those rumours about the rain, uh, Bruce. Of course, you <laughs> get to see it. But, yeah. <laughs> um, no, you're right. I think this day and age, it's a pretty much a. Um, uh, community facility of that type is, is almost uh, essential, isn't it, to, to make sure that you know, your sports and, and community activities can go ahead uh, on schedule. So makes a difference, you, doesn't it? You won't look back, uh, but obviously getting the funding up front's the key. But uh, yeah, that, you wonder how you got on without it once you've got it. So it's a great initiative. Well done, Ian. We've uh, we've had someone apply for a job at council who has done a check on whether his uh, kids should come to the high school here the answer is yes absolutely and and uh, we're signing a contract i'm absolutely uh, you don't know what that means that's great because we've a couple of years ago we had several who said no well you know, the school's moving forward and it's um, going to be um, one of the best schools in the on the west coast if not already so come along well join us. look this uh, seven million dollars is going to be spent in the next what 12 months later right. yep yep yeah. be fantastic Know anyone with a <laughs> 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 well, hang on, look, just just in case he says the wrong thing, we'll yeah, put the yeah, camera yeah, on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not the first yeah, person yeah, to yeah, I, I, I think the, the, the easy answer for the government is, oh, this is an education facility. The answer is, when you look around, no, it's actually a community facility. That's the demarcation. Yes, school is the primary user throughout 9 to 3, but this comes alive after 3. 
and certainly on a Saturday and on the weekend yeah. you've got rugby playing here, you've got netball, with the four covered courts you've got the ability to hold regional um, tournaments for the South Island which will be a first for the coast, there's nowhere else on the coast that can do that, there are some indoor facilities that have two courts but to have uh, four courts covered, two uncovered and one premier sort of internal covered um, facility will be will be quite game changing for us, the ability to host regional tournaments yeah. and obviously that has economic benefit as well so yeah we're, we're really hopeful that we can find the funding for the shortfall. Yeah. Mark do you reckon, uh, do you reckon when we cut the ribbon you like to come over? Well, we're not sure when it is. We're thinking maybe August or September. We politicians uh, never need a second introduction. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> now, if we can, things. if we can delay it to the beginning of the white bait season, would that help? Yeah, yeah just uh, anything around that time, uh, we're open to offers for. But yeah, no, look, it'd be great to come here and, and see a facility of that type uh, opened. It really would, because uh, the community won't look back from it. It'll be great. And Ian, it'll certainly add to the the high school, won't it? It's another huge asset. Oh, absolutely. It adds a whole new um, string to the bow and gives so much more flexibility for our teaching and learning as well and opportunities for all our sportswomen and sportsmen. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, there we go, guys. It's been a brilliant day.